JJ the CPA here. You really want to get to know somebody, play some golf with them, okay? It's just probably the same as if you did anything else. But go and play some golf with them because you will see someone's character uh, quite easily because with golf, you know, with golf, it's all up to you. That's it. No one else you really can blame. You can't blame the ball or the club. It's you, club and the ball, but all up to you. But when I'm playing golf with somebody, what I'm able to tell is, whew, I like that. What I'm able to tell is someone's manners, for starters. You know, if they're playing golf, do they understand the rules? But just please and thank you, and are they helpful? Because in golf, you know, you make sure someone doesn't lose their club. You have an order to who goes first. Um, you know, you take your hat off when you're done and you shake hands. You always root for the other person, you know. So if I'm with somebody and they're not rooting for me, or they just hit their ball and go back to the cart and they don't sit there and help me watch my ball because in golf, your competitor needs to help figure out where your ball went just to help the speed of play. Um, if you're playing with somebody and they don't help you find your ball if it's lost, and usually what that means is either the person's rude or they're not thoughtful or they're playing a game that they don't know much about, which means that they'll maybe do whatever. And you know, you know who I'm talking about. You know, if there's people that are playing in a church tournament once a year, I'm not talking about that. But then also just, you know, I've played golf with guys that I won't ever play with them again because they are just constantly upset. They're just mad. And I'm like, and I even tell them like, how often do you play? I mean, you're not on the tour. So why are you so upset? I mean, here we are, we're outside. We're gonna be outside for four and a half hours or so. I'm gonna hold that. And uh, from my perspective, there's no reason that we should be upset about anything. And my thought is, if you're pissed off when we should be just enjoying ourselves, I love it. When we should just be enjoying yourselves, well, what's it gonna be like with you when we're under stress, right? I mean, if, if we, it's like, so if there's somebody that's a client of mine or they're gonna be a banker or they're gonna be an investor or they're an employee or whatever, but like, here we are playing golf, not for money, no one's gonna die, no one's family's going to jail, this isn't war. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't play with professional golfers. Uh, none of these people are probably playing more than once, twice, maybe three times a month. And if they're just out of their mind upset at the dumbest things, it's okay to get upset every once in a while, but it's amazing how people will just get out of their minds upset and about putting. And so anyways, it tells a lot there. And then just also just how is it that they just conduct themselves in general? Because like I said, in golf, it's all up to you. And so in golf, it's all up to you. I got my club here. Um, and so does someone just constantly give you, uh, tilt it down a little, does someone just constantly give you excuses? You know, like, oh, you know, I usually play with a different ball or, you know, it's these new clubs or it's a grip. You know, oh, I just never do good out of sand. You know, then I just know that whatever the, whatever the situation is, it's nice. It's just, whatever the situation is, it's not gonna be their fault because here's a situation that something is completely up to them, 100% up to them. And if they're finding excuses about a ball or the course, then they're not gonna take responsibility. And then the last thing, 
There's a lot of things you can learn, but the last one is if they F and cheat, right? So how do you cheat in golf? You go in the woods more than twice and you find your ball. Okay, maybe you're just that lucky. Okay, that's just somebody dropping a ball, acting like they found it. Or the person that asked for a mulligan, mulligan meaning a do-over, but then at the end of the round, they act like they beat you when you didn't take any mulligans. So it's not necessarily cheating, but mulligans as a do-over are not allowed in golf. And technically, if you want a do-over, you can. Nice. But you have to count the strokes. Okay, so you just hit one in the water, and they're like, hey, can I get a mulligan? And you say, sure. Well, it should be one in the water, one back on the tee, and then when you hit, so you're hitting three. So, you know, I call it a mulligan. I get it. But if they act like their score is a 94 and they took, you know, eight mulligans, so their score is really 16 higher than that, to me, it's just kind of a form of cheating. So if they're also, you know, putt and then pull it right back or hey, can you just give that to me, and it's no way a gimme. So it just kind of shows you, is somebody gonna expect you to break the rules? And as a CPA, we gotta be real careful about that in IRS circumstances, because we're just never gonna do that. So with golf, you really can learn a lot. Probably be the same if you played checkers with somebody, or Monopoly, or had a cookout with them but you're also together with somebody in golf for about four hours. And if you include warming up and grabbing something to eat in between and maybe a drink after, you're talking five and a half, six hours. So you're gonna see kind of every side of them pretty hard for someone to hide, I guess I'll say character, when you're together with somebody that long. Also, if they're on their cell phone or they're gonna end up telling you jokes, what kind of jokes are they gonna tell you? Um, and I don't care about dirty jokes. I don't care if you cuss. I, don't, I know that stuff matters. But, you know, does somebody not cuss? Does somebody want to talk about their wife and how they don't like them? And do they want to talk about their partner? And then, of course, on the course, there's always lots and lots of tax questions that we get. So then you know, okay, this is somebody that's going to expect to have free advice, maybe. Anyways, it, you're just learning. It doesn't even mean that you're using that information against somebody. I've never golfed with anybody. And, uh, well, I take that back. I've golfed with a number of people that I didn't want to work with after that. Um, my ex-brother-in-law being one of them. <laughs> um, anyways, here's the bottom line. You can find me on any social medium. Amanda's working hard. Go check out her work. Hashtag JJ the CPA. I'd love it if you'd subscribe, and then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me.